Hello and welcome to this week's AB Tutor Tips video. Today I'm going to run through how to modify the Windows Client and Console installer to specify which components are to be installed and to configure the location of your central server. Whilst we recommend that you configure your DNS to point ABCS at your central server in order to make setup or server moves easier, we understand that this is not always possible. To create a modified installer, start by downloading the normal Windows installer and the MSI customization tool from your central server's web interface. Make sure that you save them rather than running them. Once they are downloaded, run the MSI customization tool. From here, you can choose the installer that you wish to modify and then configure the settings as required. This installer must be the ABTutor client and console installer called abtutor.msi. Make sure you don't accidentally select the server installer. Next, choose which components you would like to install. The default is to just install the client, as this is the most common type of install, but you can choose to just install the console or to install both if you would prefer. Next, specify your server. This can be the server's host name, its IP address or a DNS alias, however we advise against using the IP address unless your server is on a static IP, as it may change in the future, preventing the client or console from being able to connect to the server. You can also change the port here if you are running the AB central server on a different port. The next option allows you to select whether the mirror driver is installed or not. This option is only applicable to Windows 7 and earlier, as changes to Windows 10 have made the mirror driver redundant. Finally, you can choose whether an automated uninstall later will remove the settings files from the computer. Once you have configured the settings, click Create MSI. This will create a new copy of the MSI file in the same location with a different file name depending on which components you chose to install. If you want to check that the settings have been saved correctly, you can now run the MSI manually by double-clicking on it. As you go through the installation wizard, you will see the options that you set. The MSI file can now be used for silent installs using MSI exec, group policy or any other tool that will install an MSI file. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other ABTutor features, please email us at support at and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.